Hello viewers and welcome to more gameplay on GRIP. This time we're seeing it running on the PS4 Pro. Different vehicles. This one's got a big one. And this is one of the original courses they've been working on for some time. Looks really great in motion. Uh, but as ever they're always adding new obstacles and increasing the difficulty. Fine tuning. Really intense sort of action. So PlayStation 4 version you're seeing running here. Uh, as I've mentioned in the Xbox version, they're also looking at, you know, really moving forward in terms of the frame rate, uh, bringing it to 60 frames per second on all formats, and I'm sure they're working hard to optimise it now and bring it all together. It is quite challenging, we're cutting between different game modes and different circuits, and you can see how difficult it is. Goodness me, some of these circuits I don't know very well, so I was literally just trying to follow the cars in front. And when you see how varied and challenging some of these circuits are, some of these, like this one, it's quite difficult to see where you're actually supposed to go at times. It's quite dark. You really do need to learn some of these circuits before you venture onto them. Do my best just to follow the rest of the field. And if you get disorientated easily, it can be quite challenging. So here and there, I was, where am I going? Some of these courses were available, of course, on the PC version, the early, the Steam Early Access version. So I was able to get a rough idea, but some of them I haven't played in the best part of a year. Some of them, they've been upgraded so heavily, they're almost unrecognisable in terms of the improvements that's been made. Just courses like this one. Uh, I, I was reading through your comments. I mean, obviously, a lot of you looking forward to it. Uh, and there was a comment there about graphical downgrades from the PC version. I always say, you know, the PC version runs, you know, you're usually running a GTX 1080, which is several times the power of a PlayStation, so you're always going to lose something, in, probably usually in terms of lighting. But either way, I think the conversion so far is looking good, it's all there. Uh, I think if they can get that frame rate up, uh, then uh, that'll be perfectly satisfactory and, and a great looking game. I mean, there's great detail, really nice artistic visual design. My only concern at the moment is the stock sensitivity. You can change the sensitivity in, in the controls, but I feel the stock sensitivity is still at 100% is, is not right for the average player. Uh, and for me, I just wasn't able to position the car it, at any point in this video exactly where I wanted to put it. The, um, to the left and right was sort of oversensitive, so you end up just bouncing from wall to wall. I was asked about steering wheel compatibility and that's not something I've investigated but I, I will I will speak to the developers and find out if uh, steering wheel compatibility is going to be a thing. There's no up and down so I don't see why not. I, I can see it could be challenging but also good fun. Uh, there was also a mention uh, of, of VR from some of you. I don't think the PSVR could, could do this justice in many ways uh, and also from a third person cam it would probably cause a lot of motion sickness so you'd need to be in car a bit like the wipeout I guess if you can do something like that I mean bear in mind that wipeout you're sort of on a ground level such as this all the time whereas on a game like this when you're going upside down in tubes uh, that would cause uh, a lot of issues in terms of where, you, where your head is at and your, your brain in that way here we see some of the replay footage Replays are a mixed bag in terms of control at the moment. You don't really have much control over them, but uh, there's not so many in the way of TV cameras. You've got mainly the game TV replays, but you can see here detail of your car. Still pretty darn cool, it has to be said. Really nice uh, detail throughout. So, I mean, in the final game, you've got lots of tracks, lots of courses. You've got the car core mode we showed in the Xbox version. We'll have a look at that in just a moment. You've got deathmatch modes online. You know, there's going to be so much in here to try out. I really look forward to trying the final game. Here you can see the various car core modes, uh, which are also, you're seeing the Xbox footage there, but pretty much identical in the, in the PlayStation version, or it is identical in the PlayStation version. Very impressive it is as well. Again, same thing really, getting the sensitivity right uh, and getting the, uh, you know, the handling just, just where it needs to be for average players as well as experts. I think it's really important that uh, they're able to Sort of support everybody in terms of what they need. 
little bit more of this replay footage, which I thought was very cool. I do like seeing these replays. As I mentioned in my previous video, this is a game I'm very much looking forward to playing the final build. And you'll probably see me playing much like I did Red Out last year. It's just my kind of old school action game. You know, there's no learning menus and learning different you know tons and tons of different stats for a 40 minute tutorial to get into the game there's just press start go use some skills learn the circuits it's the basics and you know nail it i think in terms of development right now i've mentioned the handling but also there's a lot of disruption from other cars in terms of crashing into them and i think they just need to get it right in terms of flow and it's very difficult to find a flow until you're really a very high level of, of uh, skill. Uh, here we see a, a track that's in development just to finish off the video with it. There's a few circuits still in development, this is one of them. And there's ever, you know, you look at the views are incredible in terms of how far you can see, the detail. Obviously this is a work in progress you're seeing here, so it's not finished. I thought I'd show it anyway because I just, I still think it's a very impressive environment, and very different to many of those that are in the game. It shows how they're developing it still and taking it forward. Still a lot to look forward to. But uh, that's it for me for now for this look at Grip. Again, impressive on the PlayStation 4 Pro you see running here. I look forward to testing it on the PS4 and Xbox One, no doubt, closer to launch. And of course, I'll be on the PC version because the PC is going to be awesome anyway. But um, that's it for me for now. As ever, more soon.